Oh boy, here we go again. It is the season for the hurricanes and we have one coming our way again. I'm not too worried about this one, honestly. I'm not too worried right now, but that worry could possibly change depending on the hurricane. But it's a category two right now with 100 mile an hour winds coming directly towards us again over here on the west coast. And yeah, I don't know. Right now it's supposed to hit Wednesday. Um, oh my gosh, there was a dead kitty in the road. Oh, that breaks my heart. Anyways, um, it's supposed to hit Tuesday or hit Wednesday here. Uh, Tuesday we're supposed to get a lot of rain and all that good stuff. And then, um, yeah, Wednesday's supposed to be the date. And what is today? I was watching this, or not watching, but scrolling on Facebook and saw this little algorithm that somebody had posted up of previous hurricanes all happening on August 29th. And um, so that would be the date for this one, I guess. Today is the, what is today? I don't know. If it goes according to that, it would be hitting on the 29th, August 29th as well. And it was like, it showed like the past five hurricanes here, or four hurricanes. But another thing I noticed about this algorithm is that um, every year it happened, the first one from the, from the first hurricane to the second hurricane, um, it went, it was three years in between. Then the next hurricane was four years apart. The next hurricane was five years apart. And then on August 29th of 2023 would be six years apart. So that's a little creepy if you ask me. I don't know. You know, makes me think that they're out there just kind of sending off these hurricanes behind closed doors. Something with the government, you know. Yeah. See? Look at that. I'm already talking about the government and my phone's falling over and causing crazy stuff. Hold on. Please hold. Ah. He's crooked now. <laughs> I actually have you propped up on some some cow teeth. <laughs> I've got some cow teeth here that fell out of a, a cow skull that I have for decor. Actually, it's my daughter's. Here's a small one of them. Anyways, not to get off all on some conspiracy theories talk, but yeah, it's a little it's a little weird, but. Where am I going with this? I don't know. Yes, there's a hurricane coming. It's a category two right now, projected to hit directly right where basically it did last time, last year, um, here on the West Coast. Um, I am on my way to Arcadia right now. I have guests checking out, and then I have guests checking in, which should be interesting. I'm not sure where they're from, but, or if they're aware of this hurricane that's coming, but, I think it'll be fine as long as it doesn't get any bigger and faster and stronger then Arcadia is more inland more so usually it doesn't get too much damage but we already kind of just have a band-aid on most of Florida right now from Hurricane Ian so it's kind of just going to put salt in the wound you know we don't really need too much of strong winds or anything of that nature because things are still in disarray um, you know Houses are still not fixed. There's still tarps on roofs. There's just, you know, still a lot of debris laying around that could be, you know, blown around. Just all kinds of things um, that if this type of hurricane was coming through, it wouldn't be that big of a deal in my eyes. I don't know. We've been through some pretty rough hurricanes, so it has to take something like Hurricane Ian to, to get me pretty nervous about it. But yeah, so anyways, I'm going there, I'm going to clean this rental. These new people are checking in afterwards and they're staying for Tuesday and Wednesday, which are the two, <laughs> the two worst days to stay in a camper if I had to choose. So anyways, I'm trying to get in touch with them to see exactly, you know, what their reason is for coming here um, and if they want to reschedule or not. But, and then also do kind of just a little minimal hurricane prep, just tie down a couple things that are loose laying around in the yard and whatnot because there will be things blown around for sure. Um, and 
it's already tied down since the last hurricane so don't have to worry about that but and then the other rental we have is already kind of basically permanently put there so I don't have to worry about that going anywhere uh, my daughter's hers is tied down I think it might have gotten jostled a little bit from the last hurricane but anyways that's not going anywhere either hers is a fifth wheel so and it's been there for years and years and years it's not moving anywhere but we currently have a tenant in that property as well um, kind of for short term two or three months um, single mom we're helping out or whatever but but anyways that's what's going on here in Florida again nothing new you know same old same old hurricane different day but I will if it gets any more intense or anything like that I'll keep posting some more videos kind of telling you guys what's going on and whatnot um, hopefully it just kind of stays where it's at but it's still just before Cuba I think and um, and it's gonna go just barely gonna touch the tip of Cuba so that doesn't usually Cuba breaks breaks the uh, strength force a little bit so it dies down but then once it gets back over the water it, it picks up which Cuba is not doing that for us this time <laughs> so but they've had enough over there so it, it could definitely pick up more as it's going um, over the seas there so as of right now I'm not worried but next video you might see me worried so I'm going to go get these Airbnbs cleaned and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys.